from the sky preserves and tickled with force to your podcast i'm derek and i'm matt and we're here with e then chain chain <laughs> nice. nice and who are you guys what do you guys do in the band i'm sean i'm one of the guitarists i'm ernie i'm also guitar one i'm john i, I sing and i play bass i'm matt i'm the bitch who makes the beats I like how Ernie established dominance. He's like guitar one. No, no, they're, they're both guitar one. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Eden and Jane, both guitar just to two. start with the band name, it reminds me of like the Garden of Eden as being like humans and in, in the DNA. That kind of, Is that it? Is that close to what I'm thinking here? I don't know. It's like, it's like the chain going all the way back to Eden where they're that, we're that yeah, connection yeah. for being alive. It's actually um, a big inside joke. Is it? Because Can we, we get were, inside? we don't even the, know. No, the Eden Chain thing was. That's how inside it is. That's we how don't inside even, it is. We don't even no, because you guys know. making inside jokes about us? No, we spent like eight months trying to pick up like a band name, and then John's like Eden Chain. It's representing us picking a name and kind of bursting through the chains of Eden. Like an evolution of the uh, band name type of thing, Kit, like a uh, strongest of the fittest. Uh, it's it's kind of like um, you know, the Garden of Eden is like. That's paradise, you know. So the chain is is how much we fight for paradise just to kind of like we end up getting lost in the fight, you know. Like sometimes we end up working two, three, four, five jobs and oh, okay. get lost no, in, that, that makes in that sense. fight. The old ball and chain, to they all make it through <laughs> life. I get it. You know? Your um, music style reminds me of the Mars <laughs> Volta. I think I was saying that. I just like the kind of uh, the polyrhythmic stuff you guys have going on. And even not beyond the Mars Volta, but just the fact that you don't have classic song structure. Like, I feel like you guys are just jamming. If something sounds cool, you would roll with it. You know, what are your kind of influences on that? Is that, or who, who does your songwriting? Uh, it's been pretty much a mix of all of us. Uh, Lord Borealis is something John came up with years ago. Sepulchre was Ernie's song. That was his first song that he wrote. And then Palin, no, we didn't play Palindrome. Paramnesia. Paramnesia. Uh, that was a song I wrote. Yeah, so I'll just bring your own thing to the table. Then. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, I don't think we really roll with things much. Like, because even like for, <coughs> I mean, for all of those songs, they went through so many changes. And it's not just like, you know, everybody for themselves. Like, you know, I didn't write all the bass parts. Um, Definitely a huge collaboration. It. We're all yeah. finishing each other's stuff. Yeah, we're finishing each other's. Sandwood. <laughs> <laughs> nice. How, so how long have you guys been playing together as a group? Uh, since October? September? So we officially became a band like f March of last year. February of last year, February. and then we spent like eight months without a drummer. We're like, dude, these songs would sound so cool if we had a drummer. These songs would sound so cool if we had a drummer. So then I, you came on what like a year ago, right? Yeah, it was uh, like September Something was like, like the first rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, because I remember I was I was in a different band before, and we kind of went on hiatus, and then he came in and it's just like, hey, you want to be in a band? 
<laughs> just like, and I'm like, sure, I'm not doing. So yeah, sometimes right drummers now. get told like, you're you're in our band now. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, pretty much. But like, I appreciate you guys making the trip. This is an Orlando band. I don't know if we mentioned that yet, but but coming and hanging out with us here in Tampa, they're playing some gigs over here. So they had the the team already assembled, and um, appreciate you guys coming out here supporting yeah. this stuff and that local music yeah. scene. You know. Hey, well, you know, we love you guys, so. <laughs> yeah, I know that you said you watched a couple episodes, so let's get to something important, because, you know, and I have prepared and changed my answer a little bit, too. Yeah, are but, you going to quiz us? And then, well, I saw the two frogs coming in, the uh, <laughs> the frog purses, so favorite animes, or like, what's some what's some hot, what's going on the hot anime scene right now? Oh, yeah, I got Pokemon, the classic. John's a big Pokemon fan. I'm not. John's not a big Pokemon. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna say mine till last, like cool anime, but okay, so you okay. guys don't say it. Well, I mean, Ernie, you were the one that uh, was talking about anime, so Dude. you should you gotta <laughs> have an it? answer. Give me something cool. Yeah, I got oh, some. What's answers. your favorite anime? You, you scripted this. I'm watching one. a bunch gotta, right you gotta, now. You gotta have I'm a watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm on part two. I'm watching. Oh, I just finished Jujutsu Kaisen. It's a pretty good one, modern one. I'm watching. Um, oh, this is a great one. I think anybody creative was, is gonna like this one. It's a uh, Thermai Romai. It's about uh, this ancient Japanese, oh no, no Roman <laughs> architect. Bro. Well, they're all Japanese to a degree. He is this Roman architect, uh, and he's he's getting berated. His his ideas are no good, so like his contemporaries, and he's pissed off. He's thinking about it. He passes out in a uh, Therma, or like a their version of the hot springs. He drowns, he wakes up, and he's in modern day Japan marveling at their wonderful inventions. So that's a it's a <laughs> short one, it's funny. I think anybody creative is gonna like that one. No, I like that. I appreciate that. And I said before, like a lot of the cool storylines, you know, are from from anime, the fantasy and being able to draw and do manga or whatever, like it, it opens up the creative aspect. I'll tell you, I guess like um one that I always think about like there, there's some that I enjoy, but I think one that just changes you fundamentally is Garen Lagon. I don't know if y'all ever seen that, but it's just like, it's all about fighting spirit, you know, and like whoever has more fighting spirit pretty much wins, and it's, it's self-aware on itself too, so it's like, it's got some of the cheesy like anime tropes, but it, it uses it like, yeah, in a self-aware way. That's, that's top tier. I watch Castlevania. I'm better than you. <laughs> I just got done watching Dungeon Machine. It was very good and full of food. And my fiance had me start watching Food Wars. And I'm lost a little bit. I'm be honest with you. But then I, uh, I finished Jujutsu Kaisen like uh, a month or two ago, and it was very good. It was very good. I, I, like, I, like, I like the Serial Experiments Lane. It's an older mm. one, but it's like the girl dies and is like comes back to life inside the internet. That's uh, that's pretty heady. I was I telling older. these guys we want to do a show called uh, Serial Experiments Chain, and it'll be that's like Serial Experiments. Just add that C thing. on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good so. plot device. You know, definitely <laughs> reuse that somehow. <laughs> yeah, there's also um, we did a show with Liam Hennessy, and, and he hadn't seen the anime though. But I was telling him you could do Serial Experiments Liam. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you yeah, he's a cool dude. I appreciate him coming out supporting the scene too. <laughs> So for the people that are digging your sound, where's the best place for people to follow you, listen to your music, uh, see what shows you got coming up? What's the best way for people to connect with you? Um, well, the best place is definitely Instagram. Um, everything else is kind of just dying, but uh, but Instagram is, is for some reason still Yeah, going that's strong. how we know them. I'll post the thing in there. But that's how I do all the business anyway. All the gigs through, using Instagram. through Instagram. It's like yeah. any, anything yeah. in the entertainment. At least but right our, our Instagram, it also has a link to our Discord where, you know, you guys can hang out with us. And, yeah. you know, we can. Yeah, if you're a real, if you're like a real one, go on the Discord. Yeah, so it's at Eden Chain Band. And then, of course, check them out on YouTube. We'll have these guys up <laughs> on Spotify. And you've got some of these sick tunes. And I um, guess that's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.